द थर्ड इज एक्सटर्नल वैलिडिटी तो जिस तरह नाम से जाहिर है दिस इज एक्सटर्नल विच मीन्स डेट द रिजल्ट ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज एप्लीकेबल आउटसाइड द एक्सपेरिमेंटल इन्वायरमेंट और सिचुएशन सो इट इज द एक्सटेंट टू विच द रिजल्ट ऑप्टीन इन ए रिसर्च स्टडी होल्ड ट्रू आउटसाइड दैट स्पेसिफिक स्टडी कि जो हमारे एक्सपेरिमेंट के रिजल्ट हैं वो उस पर्टिकुलर एक्सपेरिमेंट के अलावा बाहर की जो इन्वायरमेंट है और सिमिलर अदर सिचुएशन है कैन वी यूज दैट पर्टिकुलर रिजल्ट ऑफ वन एक्सपेरिमेंट आउट साइड डेट एक्सपेरिमेंटल सेटिंग अगर हम उसको यूज कर सकते हैं तो दैट एक्सपेरिमेंट विल हैव एक्सटर्नल वैलिडिटी बट इफ आवर एक्सपेरिमेंट रिजल्ट इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल टू अदर सिचुएशन टू सिचुएशन आउट साइड एट पर्टिकुलर इन्वायरमेंट देन दैट एक्सपेरिमेंट विल हैव लो एक्सटर्नल वैलिडिटी सो कैन द रिजल्ट ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंटल स्टडी बी जर्नलाइज to other population, to other settings or other measurements. अगर हम एक experiment के results को बाकी लोगों तक बाकी populations तक जो कि उस population का हिस्सा नहीं है if we can जर्नलाइज to other population or if we can जर्नलाइज the result to other settings or other environment, then that experiment will have high external validity. If we see this example from Strike, Martin and Stripper that was conducted in 1988. and in that study the researchers found that that the people read cartoons as funnier when the cartoons holding a pen in their teeth so if this result is still valid agar ab bhi hum logon se puche agar hum survey kare and if still people read the same if they arrive at the same findings then this means that that research is having high external validity ki ye research abhi bhi iske results valid hai हालांकि ये 1988 में की गई है बट द रिजल्ट इज स्टिल वैलिड एक्सटर्नल वैलिडिटी में ये भी बताया जाता है कि हम जब एक्सपेरिमेंट करते हैं सो द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज कंडक्टेड ऑन रैट्स समटाइम द रिसर्चर यूज डॉग्स और पिजन्स सो हाउ कैन द रिजल्ट फ्रॉम एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन रैट्स डॉग्स और पिजन्स कैन बी जनरलाइज टू ह्यूमन और एदर एनिमल्स because that experiment is particularly generalized to a particular sample so the result of such experiments cannot be generalized outside that particular context now the question is how can we increase the external validity so there are three ways of improving or increasing the external validity number one is generalized to other population the second is generalized to other environment and the third is generalized to other times generalized to other population jiska matlab ye hai ki agar aap experiment ek population pe karte ho agar us experiment ke results aap baaki population pe apply kar sakte ho unke liye generalize kar sakte ho ya unke results baaki population pe bhi apply hote hain then that experiment will have high external validity so if an experiment is conducted on rats or dogs or pigeons and that results can be generalized to human or other animals then this means that that experiment will have high external validity so as we see that the experiments performed by skinner on the pigeons or the experiment performed by pavlov on dogs which was related to learning behavior or behaviorism so they were also applicable to human behavior as well and as a result those experiments have high external validity ek cheez jo hum note karte hain ki psychology mein mostly jo hamare paas experiment hote hain so they are performed in education settings for example they are performed on college students or they are performed in school students or university students to zyada tar hamare paas jo studies hain they are about students and uh, the critics always criticize such kind of findings or such kind of results because they think that that how the result from college students or from educational institutions can be applied on other population which are not college going or school going ki hamare paas jo students hai they have more cognitive development they are more self centered they easily react to social influence and social change or the data taken from such students are 
not applicable to other adults which are not college students or not studying in educational institutions. Similarly, research done in one culture needs care in generalizing it to other culture. That when a research in a particular culture, for example, in individualistic culture, which is our Western culture, hai, so can we apply or can we use the result from those researches in cultures which are collectivistic? So if we can use them and they are equally applicable, then this means that those experiments have high validity. Here are some examples. That most children in the US are taught to place great value on personal achievements. While in Eastern culture, for example Japan, stress is on group achievement. कि हम ये देखते हैं कि वेस्टर्न में चूंकि एक इंडिविजुअलिस्टिक कल्चर है वहां पे इंडिविजुअलिस्टिक आइडियोलॉजी ज्यादा स्ट्रांग है तो वहां पे ज्यादा जोर पर्सनल अचीवमेंट पे दिया जाता है पर्सनल लिबर्टी और फ्रीडम पे दिया जाता है इसके कंपैरिजन में जापान जहां पे एक कलेक्टिविस्टिक कल्चर है सो द सोसाइटी स्ट्रेस ऑन द ग्रुप अचीवमेंट इंस्टेड ऑफ पर्सनल अचीवमेंट सो कंक्लूजंस नीड टू बी ड्रॉन कॉशियसली and only with reference to the group studied in the research project. That when we draw a conclusion, so that conclusion is particularly applicable to the relevant sample which is studied in the experimental design rather than it is applicable to other groups or other population outside the experimental research design. The second is generalized to other environment. So the question is, can research done in one environment be generalized to other environment if we can use the result from one environment to another environment then this means that that experiment has high generalizability to other environment or the result of that experiment can be applicable to other environment as well and therefore it has good external validity but there is criticism on this most research are done in particular lab settings and have little relevance to real life situations. कि हमारे पास जितने भी हम experiment करते हैं, वो हम एक laboratory setting में करते हैं, जहाँ पे हम मुख्तलिफ variables को control करते हैं. लेकिन normal life में, everyday life में हमारे पास variables control नहीं है. तो how can we apply or how can we use the result from that particular experiment to other real life situations where we don't have the actual laboratory settings and the variables are not controlled. Nisar is of the opinion that the laboratory tradition while producing important result had failed to yield useful information in real world context which means that the findings or the result from laboratory environment cannot be used and they have little utility to be used in the real world situation. Another threat to the external validity is wait times. So research conducted at one point of time may not be applicable at another time. Ke jab experiment ek particular location mein ek particular time kiya jata hai, is it applicable to other times as well? For example, an experiment is performed in 1970s so will we get the same result if it is performed in 1990s or 2000s? So if the same result is obtained, then this means that the experiments have greater external validity. Otherwise, it will have low external validity. Here is an example from Korn, Davis and Davis research, which was performed in 1991. And in their research, they asked the different department chairpersons to rank top 10 psychologists. So the result that they obtained was that most of the chairpersons have ranked Skinner as the top psychologist at that time. Now the question is that if we do the same experiment now and we ask different department chairpersons about ranking the top 10 psychologists, will they also rank Skinner first again? So the reason for Skinner being placed on the top at that time was that Skinner died a year before that particular research and because of that Skinner was in the mind of those department chairpersons they remembered them and therefore they placed them in the top 10 psychologist but if we do the same research now and we ask the different chairpersons 
to rank the psychologist. So if the chairperson at now ranks Skinner again first, then this means that the experiment has high external validity with time. के time के गुजरने के बावजूद जो experiment की results हैं, जो findings हैं, वो वहीं रहीं जो के पहले से हैं. And therefore we are again getting the same. But if we get different answers, if we get different responses, then this means that that experiment will have low external validity with time.